but this is known as the date rape drug, gamma hydroxybutyrate. It's tasteless, salty, colorless, odorless. Um, it assumes the properties of whatever liquid it has been uh, mixed with. This is the date rape drug, and see the GHB is something that most people, I mean, that people could make if they want to because it's just made out of chemicals from the hardware store, and it's a pretty easy recipe to make. The recipes are all over the internet, but what it does is the GHB, the reason why it's a date rape drug is it magnifies the effects of alcohol, so like if a person would normally be just kind of buzzed after one drink by putting the GHB in their drink it'd be like them drinking three drinks and so what it does is it produces the whole blackout the memory loss so on and so forth um, it's a central nervous system depressed and it's working like alcohol um, but the thing is is it goes through your system very fast so um, the reason why it's used as a date rape drug is by the time she wakes up the GHB is already through her system, so if she goes to the police, then um, probably it's going to be through her system. Um, one other terrible thing that they do with the date rape drugs, the next one is going to be roofies, is that it's called booting, and so, as you know, probably to have sex with someone that's um, kind of passed out wouldn't be so fun. And so, um, what they do is they put a little bit of cocaine in the vagina, since she's passed out, she can't snort it, but they put it in the vagina and it passes through the v vaginal walls and it will, that stimulant will wake her up just enough so that she can kind of be fun uh, or just like at least a little bit into the sexual act and see then that protects them as well because if she goes to the police and she reports a date rape, then um, she's actually going to test positive for cocaine. So there's coasters and things that you can buy uh, that when you put your drink on it, they can sense the presence of a date rape drug. I, w I would caution you to be very, very careful with uh, leaving your drinks when you go to bars and clubs because this is very easy to come by. Also, some people just use G the G at raves just as a form of getting more intoxicated so it's not always a date rape drug. Roofies is something that you can get by going across the border to Tijuana. It's it's relatively easy to get. Um, so it's a uh, tasteless, odorless, so it's a pill form. They crush it up and then they put it in the drink. Um, it, it's it's working with the alcohol again. Uh, it facilitates the binding of GABA to the receptors. You know, I wanted to tell you about this GHB is if they overdose someone on the GHB, then they go into a coma. When they knock out, they go into a coma. Now, if they come out after 72 hours, then they're going to come out. But if they don't come out after 72 hours, then the person's dead. That's why it's so dangerous. And it's very interesting because the coma that they come out of, it, they come out spontaneously. Most people when they go into a coma, they come out of it very slowly, but the GHB coma, they come out spontaneously. Um, the Rohypnol, I don't know about the coma part of this, but um, I know that there's absolutely very high risk of overdose because whenever you mix um, a downer with a downer, which would be alcohol with this benzodiazepine, um, then the, the risk of death is very high, so you have to be very careful. Look at that, 10 times more potent than Valium. So it produces amnesia. The rope no, does not go through the system as uh, quickly as GHB. This one's going to take about 24 hours to get through the system. Um, just one more note is, you know, the number one date rape, of all, date rape drug of all is alcohol. So I said in the last one that 90% uh, of all date rapes uh, happen under the influence of alcohol. Um, I think I just have one more thing to show you, this ketamine is um, a drug that I wanted to uh, show you because this is something that sometimes you'll see uh, in the scenes now. Ketamine is very similar to PCP. Um, the only place that you can get ketamine is from a veterinary clinic because it's an animal tranquilizer. Uh, you can go across the border to get it. Um, but it produces, when they talk about the K-drug, it produces the effects of PCP, very similar. Um, it's working on glutamate. It's a very um, complex drug. Sometimes people have a really bad trip on the ketamine, and so it's called going into the K-hole. Um, inhalants. 
Uh, the inhalants are very dangerous to the brain. They kill brain cells, uh, but you'll see people use the whippets, and they produce like a very um, quick high, sniffing, um, sniffing paints. Uh, and this uh, also nitrous oxide, it's like a laughing gas. Um, so they produce a lot of damage to the brain by killing brain cells because of the toxic fumes. Um, I, I don't really have too much to say about how they're working. I need, that's an area that I need more research on, but I do think that I found a source where I can uh, provide you a link for that.